breaking news out of the White House. Let's get to Eamon Javers, who's joining us on the fast line. Hey, Eamon. Yeah, hi, Melissa. The president of the United States has just tweeted out he has selected an acting uh, White House chief of staff. It's going to be Mick Mulvaney, who's been uh, the director of the Office of Management and Budget and also the official uh, in charge of the Consumer Finance uh, uh, Protection Bureau, uh, which has been undergone a name change under his tenure. Uh, the White House, though, uh, the president in his tweet saying that he's going to be acting White House chief of staff, so leaving open the possibility that he might not be the permanent selection here. He might be simply a, a placeholder, uh, or it's possible, uh, as all things in the Trump White House, that that plan could change and he could eventually work his way into uh, having the president drop that acting uh, word from his title. So uh, we'll wait and see what where that goes. But Mick Mulvaney is somebody that the president has turned to time and time again when he needs uh, competent staffing in the White House for a high-profile job, uh, and as somebody who's a former member of Congress, so uh, we'll have experience dealing with Capitol Hill and, and intimate experience dealing with Republican leaders on Capitol Hill, knows them all very, very well, um, and now will be the acting chief of staff at the White House. Uh, the president has gotten a lot of no's, it seems, at least reportedly, Eamon. I mean, Nick Ayers turned it down because he wanted to spend more time with his family. Chris Christie reportedly turned it down, saying now is not the right time. Um, should we read anything into that? Well, I think this is a difficult choice for somebody to come in from the outside. So with a Chris Christie, uh, first of all, there's the, the strained relationship with Jared Kushner and the Kushner <laughs> family uh, due to Chris Christie's uh, involvement in prosecution of Kushner's uh, father years ago. Um, and also uh, the fact that Christie had been on the transition team and pushed out. Christie sort of got this. Uh, on again, off again relationship with the president, which seems like it's now off again as of today. Uh, that might have been a tougher sell to come in and run this staff from the from the outside. Uh, Nick Ayers was somebody the president wanted. He's a, he's a 36 or maybe now 37 year old insider in this White House who has been the chief of staff to the vice president uh, and was uh, by all accounts the president's first choice for this job. Uh, but he decided for his own reasons that he wanted to move back to Georgia. Uh, for family reasons and otherwise, and, and did not want to take this chief of staff job. It, it will be a very tough job sure. for whoever takes it. All right, Eamon, thank you so much for phoning in. We appreciate it.